case in terms of these delays to medical care or the hoops that have to be jumped through to access the care. And it really gets to the implications for the kids. We took the issue to the DOD Office of Defense for Health Affairs. And I don't really believe that it accurately reflects the rich benefit that we provide our military families. Dr. Terry Adiram says they've made changes, including increased case management for special needs families and expanded coverage for autism services. Come on. We take it seriously, and we know that since the time of that study, which was up until 2015, that we have made a number of improvements. We've talked to families who have had issues in just the last few months. What do you say to those families? Well, you know, we really want to hear about what their experience is like. Chelsea hopes her experience leads them to streamline the process when families move. Is easing that process something that you guys would consider? Oh, a absolutely, and it's, it's something that has come to our cognizance, but when these issues come to our attention, we do look for ways to ease that burden on families. The way we have as the mom of four tries to soothe Henry with his favorite song, she prays her family's story will, in fact, prompt change. You're okay. Mm-hmm. Well, you just have to wonder how long she's going to have to wait to, to ease that burden. You know, it's going to take some time, Leslie, because we're looking for a more widespread solution, and that will likely require some policy changes. But Adiram says if families have challenges, they should call case managers for more help. And on our website right now, we have a list of measures the Pentagon is working on to try to improve TRICARE. Let's hope this helps, Laura. Thanks. Now, your WUSA 9 weather forecast, sponsored by Cox. All right, record highs today at Dulles and also Baltimore, 67. Didn't make the record high uh, downtown. Only made it to 63 today. All right, bus stop tomorrow. Good news, it's going to be mild again. Bad news, a couple of showers are possible. They're going to be few and far between, and at this point, we're not issuing a yellow weather alert. Look at the temperature, 61 by the time we get to 3 o'clock, and most of the showers will be in the morning. In the afternoon, it's more clouds uh, than anything else and still warm despite the clouds. So temperatures, 62 tomorrow. Lowered Wednesday to 45. Temps fall all day Wednesday. Then we're back in the warm sector on Thursday, and then we're cold again Friday and into Saturday. Maybe even some winter-type weather as we get into a Saturday night or Saturday evening. All right, headlines go like this. Again, not a yellow weather alert for tomorrow, but still some showers, and some will have a wet commute. Not that many, but some will have a wet commute. Right now, the showers seem to be more favorable in places to the north and west, and pretty far north and west in Hagerstown and Frederick and that area. Possible yellow weather alerts Wednesday, Thursday. Heavy rain is possible Thursday and Thursday night. So we've got a cold rain Wednesday with one system. Then a second system brings back the warm air, but also brings back the threat of some heavy rain, maybe even some flooding. 6 a.m. tomorrow. Again, just not that many showers. Temps in the 50s. By 10 o'clock, a lot of clouds. Yeah, not that many showers. Still 56 in D.C. By 1 o'clock, a couple showers here and there. Temperatures still very warm. I mean, 60 in Hagerstown, 63 in Fredericksburg. And we get into uh, tomorrow night, tomorrow evening, just clouds. Temps still around 60. This time tomorrow night, again, a lot of clouds. Now, I mean, it stays wet west of the divide, but east of the divide, it's just mainly a cloudy day tomorrow and still warm despite the clouds. Now we're going to take you into Wednesday. Gets ugly on Wednesday. Looks like a little mix is possible. I would take a little further north up near the uh, Maryland PA border, but the temperatures are going to go down. See the arrows now to the north northeast. So this north northeast wind will drain down some colder air uh, from the north. So that's 6 a.m. Temperatures just go down. Now at 9 o'clock, we're in the 30s in Leesburg and Gaithersburg. And then by uh, lunchtime, it's all gone and temperatures still in the upper 30s and low 40s. So it's going to be a real, a real tough temperature change. 62 tomorrow, 45 on Wednesday, yellow weather alert. Then we're back in the warm sector on Thursday, 61. And some of the rain Thursday afternoon and Thursday night could lead to flooding. Morning shower on Friday, maybe some late snow or rain on Saturday, and then a morning shower on Sunday. We're back in the 50s next Monday. Well, we do know the results of one thing today. The Wizards lost. The yeah, game. They, they, they've lost plenty of them this season. But one thing that has been consistent is Bradley Beal. I mean, what did Bradley Beal do tonight that hasn't been done in 52 years? 